This is how Mahatma Gandhi and European media shared humor when he arrived in London in September 1931 for the second round table conference on constitutional reforms in India. Although Gandhi had already visited Europe during his student years, this was his first visit as a political leader and the European media appeared quite excited about it. From radio to newspapers, they referred to him as the person from India who was a mystery man for the West. Just to get a glimpse of him, people stood under heavy downpour with zeal that's usually reserved for rock stars. The enthusiasm surrounding Gandhi in Europe can also be understood from the fact that earlier that year in January, the Time magazine had declared Gandhi the man of the year. In September, when Gandhi briefly stopped in Marseille, France, reporters immediately surrounded him. Also, he didn't forget to bring his spinning wheel on board. This is Madeleine Slade, who later became known as Mira Bain, and the press reported that this was the first time people from this part of the world saw her, having only read about her until then. When Gandhi arrived in London, the press followed him, paying close attention to everything from his attire to his demeanor and reported on it with amazement. In one news reel, a commentator referring to Gandhi's loincloth or dhoti had pointed out that while they were wearing thick coats in the cold weather, Gandhi remained wrapped in a wet shawl and that he must be definitely freezing inside. The commentator added that Gandhi, who was wearing sandals, spoke of going to London by road and chose to sit in front with the driver to see everything. This is the friends meeting house in London where people were eager for a glimpse of him. However, they were disappointed when he entered from the back. But when he came out, the commentator said, people didn't just catch a glimpse, they got a full view, even seeing his knees. As Gandhi exited the building, a reporter tried to speak with him. I am coming down, but I need to keep. No, no, no. Which is I work, the microphone. Once again, the man who spoke to people's hearts refused to speak into the microphone. Around the same time, Gandhi was invited for tea by King George V at Buckingham Palace. The media was once again surprised by the small, mysterious man who arrived to meet the king in just a dhoti and sandals. The Time magazine reported that Gandhi didn't wear the morning dress mentioned in the royal invitation. Anyway, King George took Gandhi to his royal study where the king drank tea and Gandhi had goat's milk. Ah, that's lovely. 